Simon Pello and Taco van der Horn were left at the front. And the bunch that have been controlled by Bora Hansgro all day looked like they might be playing a perilous, perilous game. Elia Viviani and the rest of the bunch would be thwarted in their attempts to track him down. And he rode in the end to a famous, famous breakaway victory. Taco van der Horn, the first winner in 2021 for Anton Marche Wonti Gobert and the biggest win of his life. Deep into the race then, a big attack on the closing circuit into the Slovenian hillsides around Gorizia. Kampenarts tries to group clear. The bunch perfectly prepared to allow the breakaway a huge advantage. And these riders knew that they were riding towards victory. That left Riesebeck and Kampenarts to sprint it out to the line. A chase group closing to within a few seconds, but ultimately pulling up short as Riesebeck was beaten to the line by Victor Kampenarts. The Belgian taking his first ever stage win at a Grand Tour. And Betio honing in on the blue jersey of Remy Cavagna. Eventually getting to him and on the final climb towards the top, eventually breaking him. It was only Alberto Betio's third professional victory. His first ever came at the Tour of Flanders. A time trial followed at the Etoile de Bessege, but this is a victory at his home Grand Tour and his first ever stage win in a Grand Tour. Betiol, the winner of stage 18. Meanwhile, at the front of the race, Dan Martin attacked the breakaway on the final climb and with a slender advantage, rode off to try and hold off the GC chase that was being pegged by Jonathan Castroviejo. In the meantime, though, at the front of the race, Dan Martin, having defended only a minute and 20 seconds on the climb, still had 25 seconds to hang on as Joao Almeida swept, pa swept past Simon Yates and into second place on the road, but he couldn't close the gap to Dan Martin. Martin then, a winner of Monuments, a winner of the Tour de France and the Vuelta, Lorenzo Fortunato from Eolo Cometa rode across to Jan Tretnik. Fortunato then towards the top of the Zonkalan, dropping Jan Tretnik. Collision with the spectator nearly unseating Fortunato, but he retained his composure. Fortunato, within the last few hundred metres, held it all together at the front of the race, though, and still with a 30 second advantage over the rider in second place. Lorenzo Fortunato threw his arms aloft to take a famous win.